kick. Hey everyone, I'm Teacher Hulk. Welcome to my channel. Today our topic is about factoring polynomial by greatest common monomial factor. What is factoring? Factoring is the process of determining the factors. Okay, let us uh, solve now number one. By using the GCMF, greatest common factor, gagamit tayo ng continuous division. 4, then 20. Nakalat natin 4 and 20. Tapos huwag hindi na natin isasali muna yung variable or literal coefficient. Now, kunin natin ang common ng 4 and 20. The common, the greatest common is 4. 4 divided by 4, 1. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Ngayon, wala nang common dito. So, 4 na lang yung ating nakuha ang greatest common factors. Sulat natin dun. And next, ay yung variable or literal coefficient. Tingnan natin sa variable yung lowest exponent, a and a. Meron silang dalawa, kaya pwede siyang factor natin dito. Okay? Then, b naman, may b lang din dito b squared. So, ang kukunin natin dapat lowest exponent. Kaya hindi natin kukunin itong b squared sa bilang tayo. Na may na yung wala yung exponent. And after that, i-divide natin dito. Lagyan natin ang parenthesis. 4ab divided by 4ab. So, the answer is 1. Then the sign is positive. 20 divided by 4 is 5. A divided by A, wala na. B squared divided by B, meron lang siyang isa. Remember, sa exponent may na, minus lang yung exponent. 2 minus 1, kaya B na lang yung natira. Okay. Yan na yung sagot natin. I-check natin ulit kung tama. 4AB times 1, 4AB, correct? Then, 5 times 4, 20. A, B times B equals B squared. It's correct. So, yan, sagot natin ngayon. Okay, next is number 2. 8mn plus 16m squared n minus 32m squared n. So, greatest common factor by using the common continuous division. Numerical coefficient is 8. 16. Then, 32. Ang pinakataas dito na common monomial factor natin ay A. Then, it divide natin. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Sa natira, wala na siyang common. Kaya ang kunin natin itong sagot natin, lalagay na dito. Ngayon, ang susunod ay huwag kanimutan variable. M, M squared, M squared. So, lahat ay may M, ang lowest ang kukunin, M. Next is N, variable, N, variable, N. Pag may wala dyan, huwag na natin, wala, hindi na isasaling variable kasi kulang. Dapat meron sila ba? Sa bawat term, meron dapat equal sa lahat sa variable. Ngayon, N, N, N. Okay. Yes, walang ibang exponent, kaya ganun natin gagawin. Okay. I-divide na natin yan. 8 divided by 8, mn. So, 1 ang sagot. Then, 16 divided by 8, positive. Ayan. 16 divided by 8, 2. Then, sa variable, 2 minus 1, ma-minus natin exponent ng m, Kaya matitira ay M. Yung N, minus N, wala na. O, proceed na tayo sa next term. Negative 32 divided 8, the answer is negative. Then, 32 divided 8 is 4. 
Then sa variable naman, 2 minus 1, mayroon pa rin tayong m sa n, wala na. Ay, yun ang sagot natin, 4m. Check natin ulit. 8m n times 1, correct. Pangalawa, 2 times 8, 16, m squared n. Okay, correct. Next is 4 times 8 is 32, negative, correct. m, m, m squared, wala na yung mga n. Okay, n, correct. So, our answer. <coughs> Huwag natin yung number 3. Ganun pa rin yung process. So, let's not intend yung numerical coefficient. 15, then 20. Okay? Then, anong pinaka-greatest common factor dito? 5. 10 divided by 5, the way natin, equals 2. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Yung natira, wala ng common, kaya 5 ang ating sagot. Okay, dito na lang natin lagay. <coughs> 5. Tapos, punta tayo sa variable. A, meron. A, meron. Bawat uh, term ko na natin ang variable. Kung meron. Uh, complete. At so, meron A. B, meron. B, meron. B, meron. Lowest exponent. Next, itong quantity na ito, tingnan natin, lahat sila meron, kaya inalagay din natin. Ang prob problema dito ay alin sa mga exponent ang kailangan natin. So, sinasabi ko nga, pag greatest common monomial factor, lowest expo exponent ang kukunin. So, kunin natin yung 3 ang exponent. And then, ngayon, iti-divide na natin sila. Okay, 10 divided by 5 is 2. A, B, A, B, wala na rin. So, 2 lang ang matitira. Then, plus, plus natin. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Sa so, A, B, wala na rin. Canceled. Sa exponent, meron. 4 minus 3, 1. So, may natirang x plus 5. Then, next is negative. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Wala na rin yung AB. Canceled na yan kasi may na-minus ang exponent yan. Then, x plus y, 5 minus 3 is 2. Yan na po ang final answer. Okay. Number 4. Dito, ang common dito, 3k negative 8, 3k okay. negative 8. K plus 4, k plus 6 magkaiba. Kaya ang ating uh, common is 3k negative 8. Then, divide natin equals 1. So, ang natira ay k plus 4. Wala na kasi ito. Hindi divide natin ang natira ay k plus 4. Then, plus, divide natin to Wala na rin. Isa na lang. K plus 6 ang natira. Okay. Then, 3K minus 8. Copy lang to Ito ay, pwedeng ipag-plus tong dalawa na to May silent bawat isa ay magiging 2K. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Ayan na po yung final answer natin, number 4. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.